Hey guys, Matthew here with Ehrlich Gaming. Um, the last couple of times I've played Golf Clash, I've been using the built-in iOS uh, grid that's available. Um, it's built in through the iPad OS software. Now, to my knowledge, this is only available on the newer models of iPads, so I, you'd have to check to see if it's something you can use. But to my knowledge, it's used on iOS version 13. So what I do is I go into the settings, okay? And we're going to go over to the left-hand side to the accessibility section, right? And what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down to this physical and motor section, and you're going to click here where it says voice control. We're going to go ahead and go into voice control. And at the very top, we're going to turn that on. So you see that toggle switch on the very top? We've turned that on. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here where it says continuous overlay or overlay. And currently it's selected as none. Now I'm going to change that to a numbered grid. Now there you go. Automatically you're going to see what it is we were talking about. However, I want to bring to your attention a few of the extra settings that can help make your use of this grid the most, uh, you know, effective and helpful that it can be. So here on the main screen, if you look at the very bottom, the main voice control grid section, uh, you can change the number of rows, okay? You can change the number of columns. So I'm using three rows and four columns to give me the center line in the very middle. But that's up to you and your preference, uh, as well as this dimmed opacity. What that'll basically do is change how dark your lines are. So I just sort of picked 75%. It seems to work well for me. And the automatic dimming uh, is not something that I've really given too much thought to. So maybe leave a comment, uh, explain to me what that one is. And the last thing I want to bring to your attention before I end this quick video is at the very bottom, which says attention aware. Now, because this voice control system is exactly that, a voice controlled system, it's designed to be used by people who cannot use their hands. So if I was to say tap three, I'm going to tap that number three. You see how that happened? Or tap 11. I'm going to tap down there number 11. Now, that's a bit of a pain if I say something like, you know, three yards, and your grid gets a little messed up sometimes. So this attention aware button, like it says, allows voice control to wake up when you look at your iPad and sleep when you look away. So if I'm looking over at my notes and I'm doing whatever I have to do and blah, 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 and I look back to the iPad, then all of a sudden the grid will return without me touching anything. So I find that to be a really helpful addition to using the iOS grid for, uh, for your golf clashing. So if you have any other questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments or send me an email at airlitgaming at gmail.com. Uh, definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And uh, make sure you hit that bell notification icon so you know when I go live. If this helps you, if it helps you set up the grids in your iPad, please leave a like on the video. And hey, do so if you had a good time or if you enjoy the content. Thank you so much for your time. Until next time, good luck.